is up everybody welcome back to my channel i am in the car now with hubby we are going to do a new fun video i think that you guys are really going to get a kick out of this i love to set myself up for a challenge and you guys know i love home decor and you guys love home decor and so i wanted to set up the challenge to go to a dollar tree and source supplies to recreate high-end home decor store looks so for instance things like pottery barn west elm crate and barrel i am going to pull a few of my favorites from these sites and i'm going to go to the dollar tree and i'm going to pick up items to recreate these looks so if you're interested in seeing these projects and just keep watching this video all right guys so for this project i have a clear bowl from the dollar store it looks shaped like this and these I picked up all in the party section these are like little shot glasses and they come in a pack of I believe six oh. and so I'm only gonna use three so today we're gonna do a pedestal bowl now bear in mind this is just a DIY craft I wouldn't suggest putting like fruit or anything heavy in this because it is thin. Um, this will be great just to put like maybe some potpourri, um, some like fake plants or um, you'll see. I'm going to I'm going to style it um, once we're done and any spray paint color of your choice. I'm going to do this really nice um, putty color and get yourself a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And this is going to be so easy, guys, and it's going to look so expensive. Many of these bowls are found at West Elm and Crate and Barrel, and they can range from $40 all the way up to over $100. And today we're doing it all for $2. <laughs> it was a pack of these and then this bowl. So for $2, you're going to have a really nice high-end looking bowl that you can use to decorate your space in. All right, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so I got my spray paint. This color is called Matte River Rock, and it's from Krylon. And I'm gonna just, I have it upside down. I'm gonna start with the legs, and I'm gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna spray paint the inside. Okay, everybody, so this is gonna be one of my favorite projects. I'm going to recreate the Restoration Hardware um, hammered candle holders. And so for this project, I have some air dry clay. It's gonna be 24 hours before you can spray paint it. Um, I'm choosing to do a metallic gold. You could do a pewter, you can do black, whatever color you'd like. Um, I went to the dollar store and I bought these party cups that typically, oops, that look like a little champagne or a wine glass, but we're not going to use this part. We're going to use this part. And so you're going to need a whole package of those. I believe these are two, four, six in a pack for a dollar, a little bit of water and a glue gun. Um, so let's get started. So, I think we can do this. I think what I'm gonna do is wrap this little plastic dish in the clay and let it harden and I'm going to um, pull up the little stem and then same thing on the top side, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it and then connect it. 
So, and then once it dries, I'm going to spray paint it. So let's get started. So what I did was literally just take my fingers and just kind of make little indentations. It tends to look a little bit more hammered um, and I really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and start my second one and just do the same thing. It's a little dry. Trying to make it as flat as possible. I just like using my fist and then wet it if it's cracking. And just push down and then we're gonna lift it up we're gonna do the same thing guys we're just gonna lay it in there and a little bit of water just start folding it over the edge All right, you guys, so this is now dried. So now it stands straight. Um, so I kind of went around, I, I kind of went about it the way that I thought best. Now, something I'm going to tell you, um, you can't see it here. This one, maybe because my other package was old, I don't know. This clay, the clay shrinks as it dries, and I use the template. I use, remember that party cup? Um, so what happens as it dries and it's shrinking, it tends to crack. So I have a couple of the other ones that are cracked, but I'm gonna go with it anyway. And I'm gonna hot glue these pieces together, and then we're gonna spray paint it. But I wanted to sort of disclose that, um, that maybe you should just uh, freehand it going forward i mean i got lucky with this one and i think the reason being is that i bought a new package of clay this package of clay held up pretty good versus the older package i think was a little bit more dried out um so i got lucky with this one so i want to show you how this one looks and if all else fails i'll just do one candlestick but all right well here we go so guys i just glued the top sorry the camera angle was down i was all into my gluing here i couldn't see if the camera was recording it or not but um i put a huge glob of glue on underneath and this is where the candle is going to sit um so yeah so again this is a very complicated project i got glue here all over the place um so we'll see once it spray paints again these should just be decorative disclaimer do not put any real candles here guys do not do it um, these are for decorative purposes only and yeah so I'm gonna do the other two and then I'm gonna show you when I'm spray painting you guys so here's my metallic gold I'm getting ready to spray paint these now mind you I do have a cardboard box on the bottom here so I'm not spraying my deck um, we don't want that so make sure that you you know protect your area because the spray the spray paint tends to blow out a fine mist and it can destroy, you know, your furniture and stuff. So I have a nice white opening, so it's just going out that way.
so on to the next project. I am going to do another air dry clay project. I bought these floral arrangement wires. It actually was square. My husband um, cut them and he formed them into a round shape for me. And so I have two sizes. I have a large and a small and my little cup of water. And basically what I'm aiming for is these are from West Elm. I'm not sure you guys can see. I'll post a picture up here. But they're these beautiful, um, very minimalist style sculptures. And there's two with wood and then one with stone. I'm gonna go for the one with the stone, but because I'm working with clay and I'm not welding or soldering anything, um, I can't do the one with the stick. So I'm going to do the stone, but I'm going to take the wire and put it through the clay. So. All right, let's get started, guys. I'm also going to spray paint and use the texture spray paint um, to add more texture to the stone. All right, so let's get started. All right, you guys, so for you to see what I'm doing, I created like this little chubby rock. <laughs> um, just go back and forth until you're happy with the shape. Um, it's nice and flat so that it sits properly on the counter. So make sure that when you're working on it, you're working on it flat and then you're just going around to sculpt, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take the big, the small ring and I'm going to push it through. I'm gonna take the circle out so I can spray paint it. And I'm also going to spray paint these black. These are like a dark green, you can't tell. It looks black on camera. But I already have my holes. So I'm gonna do the second one and I might do a different shape. So let's see. So I'm gonna set this to the side and let that dry. That's probably gonna take a full 24 hours because it is a really, thick, chunky piece of clay. I am going to paint these little um, rocks with the matte glacier gray, and then I'm going to give it um, a second coat with the stone, which is in my other room, but I will go get that. Right, here we go. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go in with the bleach stone texture and even though they look white they are gray and I'm gonna add a little bit of like that sandy texture um, just to make them look more like stone they just look like big old rocks and I guess that's the idea but want a little bit more texture Okay, you guys, on to the next project. I picked up these little, little like parfait cups from the dollar store. Um, they're plastic. I have four of them, and the idea is to do a really massive sort of restoration hardware-ish kind of candle holder. I didn't really per se um, find a candle holder that looks like this, but I thought it was really cool. I just kind of came up with it. Um, so the idea is to put this one down and glue this one right side up and I have my glue gun here and I'm going to do the stone paint to give it some texture so that it looks like ceramic um, again this is the bleached stone I really love the color and the way the texture looks on this so all right well let's get started
So guys, I just wanted to point out that these are flicker. They're not real candles. These are LED lights. Um, see? So you don't want to put any real candle in there. But I think they came out really, really cool. Surprisingly, no one would ever expect unless they like, you know, picked it up and felt it. But um, yeah, these are just two parfait cups glued upside down and spray painted with a um, stone, with a stone spray paint. And they look really, really high-end, very expensive, something that Pottery Barn would completely sell, maybe even Restoration Hardware, so.